Well, we're in northeastern Arizona within the Chichen Bito chapter boundary. And here we, my, my family, including my husband and his family, are operating a small calf cow operation. Um, initially, it started, from what I've been told, over two, 300 head of cattle. And over the time, because of um, drought conditions and lack of water in this region, um, my family had to go ahead and reduce the herd down to about 20 head of cattle. Our main resource concerns here was obtaining a reliable water source for this region and also the fact that this area was heavily grazed within the past, past uh, couple of decades. And with that, those were two, the two main objectives for obtaining an, an equip contract. One was trying to get water to the surface here because this is a semi-arid region. Uh, water is hard to get by here. And so developing a well, a reliable water source for this region instead of hauling water from these uh, windmills was our main objective here. And by that, we went ahead and drilled a well. As you can see behind me, there's a solar panel here that uh, produces, uh, that brings water up to the surface. And the well here to de water depth is 800 feet total depth. And with that, we're able to pipe water to over 32,000 feet of water line. And we were able to provide water to five different pastures with uh, 10, 10 uh, water troughs as well. And the other objective that we wanted to overcome was uh, management of the vegetation here. As you can see, there wasn't enough vegetation to support the, the, the cattle operation at the time. So reducing the herd was one way to, to achieve that and to also breaking up the area into five different pastures so that uh, rotational grazing could be managed as well. So the EQIP contract covered well installation, it covered development of uh, water, water line as well, and it also included cross fencing in this uh, area which is called the range management unit, which is area that's fenced off uh, for this type of practice, which is rotational grazing, and then also 200 feet of treatment for tamarisk control, brush management. This is very beneficial as far as what ECOP can offer. Um, I think it's an underutilized program here on the reservation. I think if you plan ahead of time, plan wisely, you're able to achieve a lot of good um, benefits out of the project, namely trying to uh, control overgrazing, trying to uh, improve the vegetation, the wildlife habitat as well was another component and then also being able to develop a water source here. So one additional practice that was implemented is uh, rock and erosion control structures using rock, rock and brush structures. About 80 structures were implemented here on, on this area and that included um, erosion controls off of the, the main, the main uh, ranch roads as well to minimize coarse erosion and sedimentation and problems with uh, when it rains. There's a lot of flashy floods that occur here, so that was able to help with that.